Love him or hate him, there's no denying that nearly everything Elon Musk does gets attention. Despite running SpaceX, The Boring Company, and Tesla, Musk has found plenty of time to nurture an absolutely massive cult of personality, with Twitter as his main platform. Now it seems he's looking to monetize his followers through a series of unique, often bizarre, merch drops. It's not an overstatement in the least to say that Musk's Twitter is among the most powerful in the world. In just the past few years, he has managed to pump stocks like GameStop and Etsy as well as cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Dogecoin. In some cases, he's accomplished this with nothing more than a casual comment or even a single hashtag. And with some 44.8 million followers waiting for the next big tweet, it was only a matter of time until this serial entrepreneur attempted to monetize his audience. This brings us to Musk's new merchandising endeavors. For a man whose fortune can fluctuate by tens of billions in a single day, he truly seems dedicated to marketing his brand predominantly via merchandising. For instance, in the Tesla store, you'll not only find sports jackets, hoodies, and tees, but also toy versions of the cars, infant onesies, and more. In an August 2018 tweet, Musk even took the time to announce that the Tesla store would soon be offering shorts. It's quite a questionable use of time for someone who runs several multi-billion dollar companies. Of course, most luxury auto brands offer hats, t-shirts, and mugs as part of the owner's experience, so it's not much of a surprise to see Tesla doing the same. What is a surprise is Musk's involvement in the promotion and, seemingly, in the development of the various tie-in products. It all started back in 2017, when Elon Musk teased a hat for The Boring Company, his new tunnel digging business. In just a few weeks, Musk had sold out of 50,000 hats at a price of $20 apiece, making the company a total of $1 million in sales. A few months later, The Boring Company began selling branded flamethrowers at $500 apiece, with 20,000 units flying out the door in just six days. The text accompanying the flamethrower product page was less than what you'd expect from an innovative tunneling contractor and more akin to what you might read on Reddit. Call it a joke if you want, but the $10 million raised in just six days from selling the flamethrowers is no laughing matter. The same can be said for the exposure it offered his rather underground brand. This brings us to Musk's latest, and some would say most questionable, merch announcement, Tesla Keeler. It all started as an April Fool's joke back in 2018. In a Twitter post, avid drinker Musk posed passed out amid a sea of Tesla Keeler bottles and holding a sign announcing the company's bankruptcy. It was all in good fun, but it didn't take long for Musk to apply for a trademark for Tesla Keeler and subsequently announce that the product was real. In November 2020, Tesla actually started selling bottles of Tesla tequila on their website for $250 per bottle, and in nearly 24 hours, the tequila was already temporarily out of stock. Unlike other merch drops, Tesla has not yet revealed exactly how many bottles of tequila the company has sold. Tesla's website describes the tequila as an exclusive small batch premium tequila made from sustainably sourced highland and lowland agaves. The company goes on to say the tequila, which was aged for 15 months in French oak barrels, has notes of fruit, vanilla, cinnamon, and pepper. The tequila also comes in a uniquely designed glass bottle that resembles a lightning bolt and comes on a metal stand bearing the Tesla logo. Perhaps the largest motivation behind why Musk would embrace an idea like Tesla tequila is that it gives him yet another way to market his brand in his own way. Indeed, from the founding of Tesla, Musk has been adamant that he did not need to embrace traditional advertising in order to promote and sell his brand. In fact, in this past year, Musk has had his fair share of fun with product sales, including dropping a line of Tesla-branded red short shorts meant to poke fun at the company's short sellers who bet on Tesla's stock going down. Instead of commercials, Elon Musk has found a way to embrace his own eccentricity and retool it into a marketing platform. From controversial tweets to naming his child x a 12 to selling branded flamethrowers, nearly all Tesla, SpaceX, and Boring Company marketing efforts are filtered through Musk's personality in one way or another. This is why we would take the time out of his busy day to promote shorts for Tesla's web store. The fact that he would do something so absurd is better advertising than any commercial or billboard could promise. In the end, regardless of how innovative and successful Musk's companies are, he is the brand. So, 
The point of the flamethrowers and the Tesla Keeler is not necessarily about the money derived from selling the merch. Instead, it's about reinforcing and monetizing Musk's considerable cult of personality. Tesla Keeler buyers are far less interested in the product's quality or benefits and more interested in Musk's audacity in actually going through with it. As his empire expands, Musk has repeatedly proven himself to be the fairest dweller of the billionaire class. He knows his followers and detractors alike are mesmerized by the what-will-he-do-next personality that he's carefully crafted over the years. So, whether Tesla Keeler or any other future merch drops makes millions or falls flat, what matters most is that Musk and his companies stay firmly in the limelight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and subscribe for more.